So this is a big deal. All right. Our gospel says, as Jesus said, narrow is the way to life and wide is the way that leads to destruction. The old one was good enough. Okay. But unfortunately, the church of today is thrown in the towel. That's not the gospel that was preached to us. Okay. The new evangelization, um, it's not evangelization. That's the problem. Okay. It's called new. And, you know, and you'll discover this if you dig deep into the literature. Because it's, it's taking away the old way of evangelism. The old way of evangelism was to go knock on the door, so to speak, and talk to your neighbor about Jesus and invite him to the church, okay? It, it considered your neighbor as a pagan or a unsaved person or, um, you know, irreligious or whatever. And it considered all the religions of the world as lost because they don't have the true faith of Christianity all right but the new evangelization is an evangelization that says well we don't really have to go out there and do targeted evangelization all right in other words we consider that the person who's our neighbor though they may be a pagan still has ideas of god and were to communicate with him in such a way where we share our ideas of God. We dialogue back and forth and come to some resolution in our relationship, you see. And if he just so happens to want to join the Catholic Church, well, great, okay? It's even closer. But it's not a necessity, okay? It's, and before, in the old way, the old evangelism, it was a necessity because that person was on his way to hell unless he became saved, and he can only become saved by our gospel, okay? So that's the difference. And, you know, why, why did John Paul II have, um, you know, a CC interreligious prayer meetings? First in 1986, then three times in the early 90s, and then again, the final, the finale in 2002, where he allowed, um, the religions of the world, the pagan religions of the world, to pray to their own gods, to worship them on altars in, in the Italian town of Assisi. And by this, proclaim that because of their prayers to their pagan gods, we should be blessed with world peace. Okay? That's what happened. All right? Seven times by this Pope, John Paul II. And I'm not afraid to call it what it is, okay? It's idol worship. What he should have been doing is preaching the gospel to these pagan nations. Instead of inviting them to bring their pagan gods to worship in the CC, he should have been spreading the gospel around and telling them, because you don't have the true gospel, you're worshiping the devil and you need to be saved and here's how you do it you bend a knee to jesus christ and him only and you can be saved not one word was said to those pagan nations about them repenting before god through jesus christ to be saved not once in 16 years all right, that's your new evangelization.